Oh, there it Whoa. goes. In the middle. Oh, no. Lost oh, away no. himself and upside down is the 45 of Majeski. Let's hope he gets back on his tires here. That thing's square on the roof. What a shame. That yes. time of Jeske and his truck comes to a stop. You just know with all that movement, bouncing back and forth, side to side, trying to side draft. One guy zigs, the other one zags, and you have a mess. In back of the... That's Fogelman in the 0-2, wasn't two, it? Two, yeah, and then, man, he just... But Jeske just turned sideways down the front, and it just tipped right over. NASCAR does so much work in the wind tunnel to have uh, flaps, air flaps, different panels on the truck that blow away that is supposed to prevent that, but probably just one of those circumstances that put him in a real, real in real jeopardy. Ryan Newman off turn four for the final time. Blaney to the outside, oh! to the inside. Here comes Hamlin up the outside. Wow! Crash into the wall, into the air, goes oh. Newman. Upside down. In a shower of sparks on his roof. Ryan Newman comes across the line, fourth, and comes to rest. Scoring unofficial between Hamlin and Blaney as far as who crossed the finish line first. Newman gets a pretty good run to the turn four, but now here comes a huge run by Ryan Blaney being pushed by Denny Hamlin. He goes, tries to go to the outside, then the inside. They lock, lock bumpers and turns Ryan Newman around. Upside down he goes. Corey LaJoy coming along, making contact. Just lifting Newman's car up and over. 29 to go now as the green flag flies once again. Haley, not a great restart here as Ryan C gets off to a good start. And now they're four wide going into one. That's it. Oh, and around goes oh. a seven. Hard into the outside on, wall. Buddy, hang on, the hang seven. on, hang on, hang on. On the apron, the 21 of Anthony Alfredo was into the wall hard. He's upside down, sliding through one and two. Looks like the 18 back there of Riley Herbst also involved. As you see him climbing out of that car, and that is a great sight. It's a big run, goes to the apron. Next thing we know, we're four wide on the apron, Jeff. Yeah, everybody's got to go. Everybody has tires trying to get in track position. And Algar was just on the apron, entered the corner on the apron, and ended up getting up into the side of the 21. Yeah, he ran out of, I mean, at some point, you have to make the corner. The corner has the banking. There were so many cars above him, he couldn't get up on the banking. It looked like he lost control. Take another look at it. Focus on that bright red or orange number seven back here. That's kind of where the whole thing starts. And yeah, normally you think you're going to get down here, and you're going to slide up on, into the racetrack, but he just never had a chance to. Algar just kind of, I think, needed to give that spot up and get out of the throttle. But knowing there's a race win, if you can make it work, maybe ahead of you just chose to stay in the gas and look at this car it gets up on its side it's sliding you know these cars have roof flaps that design them to stay on the ground when you see a high speed roll over it say a restrictor plate track but here that that wasn't really an aerodynamic thing the cars aren't going at top speed on this restart that's just the force of this car hitting that outside wall throws it up into the air and then jeff as we saw it slides to a stop on its roof went backwards because he chose the oh, 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 reckon Joy Logano, Hamlin and Logano. 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 And Keslowski is in it. Oh. Boy, it's just scary. Anytime that air gets underneath that car, gets it airborne like that. Thankful to see that car get back on four wheels and not have a moving, moving around. Moving around. Grabbing, the, grabbing the wind and net there. That's a good sign. Good sign. So now look how they're all stacked up. They're all bumper to bumper to bumper. Yeah, but look at the 11. He moves down to try to go on the bottom, gets turned, turns him into the Joey Logano. And then, Jeff, we've all felt it, that silence. When that car goes over, it gets really, really quiet. Not a fun sound. And you have no idea if that car is just going to start rolling and continuing to roll or if it's going to settle down. Luckily, that's what it did. Right along 
This doesn't With even Bubba. seem real to me. This is like a video game. <laughs> real to Bubba. Woo! Real close. Look out! Wow. Ricochets off that rear window. And very little damage to the 23, however. Uh, just a little bit peeling little up there stretch. on the roof and the right windshield post. Yeah, he's got to get to the top. The top's going to have the biggest energy here. Mm -hmm. 21's going to come with a huge shove. They are two and three wide behind him. Crossover. Oh, That's comes. Austin Hill oh, in the 21. Big crash. Up and over. Caution is out. That's Myatt Snyder. It's Austin Hill who gets it done at Daytona, and here's what happened behind him. That's just a bad scenario. Uh, once you get turned around backwards, if he doesn't get hit in the front end, it probably doesn't get airborne, but it's just you got the other car wedging underneath the front to, to get the lift there. But it's great to see, like Chad talked about, the, the safety innovations of these cars. You know, to, to see Mike just walk right out, that's a, a great sign. And I would be anxious to see how close it was at the time of caution, because look right here, it looks like the 16's out front. Whew, it had to be really close. Yep. The caution wasn't out at that point when they left our screen, so he was clearly ahead by the time he left the bottom of your monitors on television. But unfortunately, Anthony Alfredo getting into the back of the 31 and creating that issue. Now watch the 21 up high with Brad Keselowski behind. He's flanked off that right-hand side. come off the corner the car got light exactly like i was talking about man it went over too i was right dang it a lot of good cars denny hamlin with a spin there not sure how much damage kyle bush 24 of william byron they're both going to get swept up in this oh denny hamlin christopher bell gets into burton And that's a long slide on the asphalt into the safer barrier, hard for Byron. Oh, oh Suarez! Briscoe got into Briscoe. the back of Suarez, and he gets pounded. Dang it! Oh, and up push and upside down. I think he hooked a drain. And see Suarez come up, just wasn't clear. Caught the 14, gets sideways, and here comes the impact. Hard hit. You see him spinning. The more you look at that, the whole right front suspension was broke off. I think it rolled underneath the car, and that's what flipped the car. The upper A-frame was broke. The whole right front suspension dug in. That was Todd Gilliland tried to go high and there just didn't have enough room. See that, that right front wheel dug underneath the car and that's what dug in and caused it to start flipping. Violent. Violent crash. A lot of cars slide through the infield. The last thing you think is going to happen is that you're going to flip. I, that was the last thing he thought was going to happen. But I, I'm with Clinton. It almost appears that that impact from Suarez Watch it spins around right breaks here. You see the right suspension. front. See oh, it flip right over? There. Yeah. Dug in. Upper A-frame was broken. As soon as it rolled underneath the car, it dug in and sent that thing a flipping. Wow. What a ride. A lot of work went into the safety of these race cars. See him crawl out of that thing. Hats off to everybody involved in that. Huge contact. 48 is involved as Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Now up and over goes to 27. So Jeff Burton sliding on top. I just want to get you. All right, just hold tight right here. This will take a minute here. You all good there? We heard Jeb talk. So he thumbs up right there. Hey, 
That's a signal to everybody around what the degree of intensity needs to be. So you see right here the 26. Off turn four. Okay, gets very, very loose. Just really spins out. Loses control. Probably had very little side force. Too wide. Sideways. Now it's white smoke. No one can see. The 48 of Stenhouse. The 27 sees it. He goes as far left as he can. He has a choice. Oh. Am I either going to hit the end of pit wall or stay on the racetrack? And he just launches off the 48 upside down. And then this long slide had to feel like forever. I'm not going to know what's better, sliding or tumbling. I'm going to say sliding if he's fine, but... Yeah, but watch how close Jeb was to the end of this pit wall. He has a split decision, pit road or not. The yellow barrels are not a good option. Yeah, he made, ugh, he made the right decision not to try to turn left there at the last moment. Just a no-win situation for Jeb. Who's going to get that first run? Here comes the one. Sam oh, Mayer's oh, oh, never oh, won oh, in the Xfinity Series. There. there goes oh, the one boy. to the outside of his teammate. Through the middle of the 21. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Mayer goodness. is turned. Oh, He's oh, upside oh. down. The caution is out, and now the question becomes, who was, the who was leading at the time of caution? Oh, my goodness. Second straight year. Sam Mayer back on his wheels. That's good. When the caution came out. The one that had to take the run. I mean, yep. I, I don't know what else you do. He could have got back down right here. Yeah. A little bit of a late block and, and just kind of got swiped. See, there, I haven't seen at this point. Oh, I didn't now, see the 20 down yeah, but there. But he's the below thing. the yellow he's line. He's below the yellow line. So I didn't, I, I didn't I, even see the 20. It, it looks like right here, the 7 is there. See, that's the 21. 21 I was noses thinking, out. I wasn't even looking down here, though. But, but I can't really, see lights. There, there the light was on yeah, there, but, but that's, that's It's the 21. It's so the yellow late. line rule. Speedway yeah. race at Daytona. The Funkaway Chevy was, was solid. And I would say right there. I mean, <laughs> you're, as soon as he gets upside down, from a safety perspective, even though we didn't see the lights, you're thinking caution. I, I think all guys got a chance here, and 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 who knows how quick they were to rule it and hit the button. What is it? The lights. So we're gonna see a spin from the middle, the 66. He's gonna come down and hit the inside wall very, very hard. And this is where the the wall kicks out right there. And he that that shot doesn't do justice. And look at this car. Barrel rolling down the back stretch. And that wasn't the half of it. By the way, Dexter Stacy has also climbed from his race car. So this is Blaine Perkins. You see he's going to get hit. The car's going to catch the air, land right here on the roof, and here comes the barrel roll. Right when you get sideways like that, it starts to bite, and then off it goes. And at this point, you hope when it's up in the air that it doesn't land on the roof. Look at the parts and pieces just coming off that race car as it barrel rolls down the back straightaway. It's at six, seven times I think I saw that car go around. Yeah, some big some big hits within the rolls, right? The Gonna be two laps to go when we come around this time. And oh, there goes God. Daniel Hemrick off the bumper big rack of Sheldon Reed. And this is the big one here at Talladega. Oh my. Got one upside down, is that That's Daniel Hemrick? That's Hemrick his upside down. Most of the field is caught up in this wreck. Only a handful of cars are driving by us right now. I hope Daniel's okay. Second time today, we've had a car upside down at Talladega. This one happens with two laps to go. Concerned about after he got upside down, here's the replay. Yeah, we see Daniel Hemrick out in the lead pretty far out. He goes up the hill to try to close that gap some. Comes down too late. Right, light, late block, and then kind of causes the big one, and everyone's right there, and there is some massive hits. Mm. A lot of cars to the outside wall. Yeah, and I think pretty Joey, much all the cars behind get caught up in this thing somehow. I think, Joey, the closing rate was faster than Daniel could anticipate. He'd just gotten too far out. And that just, it's a rubber band, and it snaps back, as you see him flipping over the 11 car, Daniel Hemrick. So you're gonna see Daniel's gonna come down and try to block the two. And when he does that, just mayhem ensues here. And you're going to see a couple combo shots of Rex crashes. On the 91 here with a massive hit up against the outside wall, Joey. Josh Balicki in the 91. Takes the camera out. Yeah, here's a, a view of some of these hits into the wall. Here's how Hammer gets over. The 91 takes a pretty good hit there. Riley Herbst looked like in the 98 riding right underneath 
of Hemrick as he went up on the wall. Chandler Smith got heavy damage. Pack is there waiting mm -hmm. when you come back up. And he did. He came back up in the spin. Took a lot of cars out in this big wreck here with just a few laps left to go. Flash of fire coming from the Kaz Grala Toyota.